Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're reviewing another Call of Duty Mega Bloks Collector Series Construction Set. More specifically, this is 06856 APC Invasion, which includes 457 pieces and retails for $29.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging, which includes various stage scenarios, as well as an overview of everything included which includes the APC, of course, as well as two minifigures. To start things off, let's take a look at the main component of the set, which is the APC, that stands for Armored Personnel Carrier, but it's actually more along the lines of a lightly armored, fast-moving tank. Like all the Call of Duty Collector Series sets out there, the APC is built with good quality camouflage bricks, and of course, it's extremely detailed. On the front of the vehicle is some headlights, as well as some orange navigation lights, which are all molded in translucent plastic. And off to the sides is rear view mirrors, which can actually be adjusted at two different points, including up and down as well. Placed in the center, right in front of the driver's hatch, is two gray loops, which would be used to attach chains or ropes in real life. The hatch does have a slit, allowing the driver to view out of the vehicle, and of course it's on a hinge joint, allowing it to be opened. Because of the turret placement, it is a little bit limited on movement, but you can always rotate the turret to the side, giving you a little bit more clearance. Inside is a simple black seat, with just enough room to seat one minifigure, and look at that, he can actually view out of the slit. The vehicle is supported by four real rubber heavy duty wheels with green rims that actually come pre-assembled right out of the packaging. And if you were looking closely in that last shot, you might have noticed a hidden hatch, which is on both sides, opening up to reveal a storage compartment. Inside the compartments, there's not much room except for maybe a couple accessories or two, but attached to the actual hatches, is two RPGs. Of course those RPGs can be removed and plugged into the actual RPG-7 launcher just as if they would in real life. Behind both rear wheels is a black gas container which I'm not actually sure if it's being used as a fuel container or maybe as mud flaps. The back of the vehicle is just as detailed as the front with plating and rounded pieces to bring it to life. There's red translucent brake lights on both sides, an exhaust pipe built into the underside, along with vents, which were cleverly put together to arch over the engine. The entire turret assembly is built with rounded and angled pieces, just like you would expect with any modern armored vehicle, to help deflect incoming ordnance. The main cannon's barrel is built with a hinge, allowing it to be adjusted up, and down. And unlike any toy I've seen before, it has such a wide range of movement, it can be angled almost completely down. The turret on the other hand, although it is adjustable, it cannot rotate a full 360 degrees due to a few poorly placed studs. But with a little bit of adjustment, such as removing this piece here and this piece here, you could definitely get it to rotate 360 degrees if you wanted it to. The top has open seating for two minifigures, similar to what you would see with a tank destroyer or self-propelled artillery piece. There's also a couple control panels with printed detail for the gunner to use. Along with a radio antenna, which is mounted on the right side, and it's molded in a flexible plastic to give it that springy feeling. There's also a small storage slot on the back, great for storing more of those accessories. And as you would expect, all four wheels do rotate independently. The first of the two minifigures is a generic soldier with some black boots and pants and a green shirt. He's also wearing a tan combat vest, some black gloves, sunglasses, and a green hat. And lastly, 
we have an officially named character, which is Agent Hudson from both of the Call of Duty Black Ops games. He's wearing some sunglasses, a green combat vest, and an ammo pouch belt. His shirt is painted in brown, the pants are painted in green, and his boots are painted in gray. Weapons and accessories include the new RPG-7 launcher, which has removable RPGs, like I previously mentioned, as well as some brown paint applications to give it that wood furnish look. Also included is a new revolver, which has some wicked silver detailing. You also get various other accessories, including a combat shovel, binoculars, a canteen, a flashlight, and a combat knife along with two backpacks, which have multiple accessory mounts, and other accessories which are intended to be kept on the figures, such as flashbangs and ammo pouches. So for about $30, this is a wonderful set, and definitely a highlight from the Fall 2014 wave. Ever since I saw it in person at Toy Fair, I knew it was going to be one of my favorites. And now that I have it in hand, my opinion on it, has not changed at all. I love how detailed the APC is, and even though the name is misleading, it packs a punch and playability and looks awesome on display. The minifigures are also nice additions, and those new weapons are getting a warm welcome to my collection. Overall, another awesome Call of Duty set, and something I'd highly recommend. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.